Good day people, welcome back to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host Shaheen. And today's content will only be available on Patreon page for my Patreon followers. It will not be available on YouTube. Uh, so we are going to discuss three very good opportunities in uh, today's market. We are, uh, we are going to discuss gold, silver and British pound. Uh, first have we are going to, as you guys are aware of it, we have British pound in front of us. It is pre presenting us with a very nice uh, trading setup. And I believe that uh, we are going to see initially prices come down a little. I'm considering this hole as a expanded flat connection A, B, and C. So uh, this does not mean that the prices always have to go all the way at the bo bottom. I'm expecting that we'll see probably uh, a higher low as compared to this one. And as soon as that is complete, and then we are looking for the upward target is right over here. With this particular price movement, uh, with this particular price movement, you can consider this bottom right over here. If prices fall back below this target, that means our analysis right wrong is somewhere around uh, wrong in this area. So you don't have to consider this one. But if you want to consider this, will be even more reasonable, and it will become make you a little more professional than uh, this will be right now pr proper day trading setup. But I, th I think there's a higher confidence in this one. I'm considering it now as an impulsive wave correction and another impulsive wave. So this is what I'm considering right now. And this is very good trading setup. Hopefully this will uh, work out in the next two, three days. It might take four days. We are looking for prices to go up, initially come down and then go up. Let's have a look at silver. Uh, now many of you people are wondering what the hell happened right over here on the weekend. Uh, I'm on the Friday. We did see the prices go up as uh, I forecasted, but the prices have come back. So nothing, absolutely nothing to worry. Don't worry about it. It's a particular thing that happens between expanded flats. We are considering night and right now this and uh, A, or we can consider it as B, and right now we are considering it as C. Once again, it's not necessary for the prices to go all the way right over here. If you are an addition, uh, the book version of the patterns is completely different as compared to, you to the day trading. And reason because expanded flats are not that deep. They do not exactly form A, B, and C patterns right, right, right over here. For example, A, B, and C. Initially, it does not look like that, right? So you have to give room for uh, expanded flat. Initially, once again, if I am trading an expanded flat, I'll consider this as A, B, and C. Is once again A is way extended, B is way shorted. So we are talking about forex market, very high, very very high volume, a lot of volatility. So I personally look at the patterns as a little skewed, especially in uh, CFD markets. In today's market, we have, we have tons of computers trading as well as well. So you gotta keep that in mind. We are going well with our analysis. However, in just in case if prices actually fall below. Um, I would say this one. I'm still considering for gold. I'm still considering this as an important bottom. It, it could be possible once again that we have wave A right over here and wave B right over here and we can see price coming all the way down right over here. So you got to be really really careful as far as gold is concerned. This pattern is looking different on British pound. Uh, I'm sorry this is silver. So there is a possibility that we can see something like this. But I'm pretty confident that this price movement will not be taken off. And once again, there's also a possibility that we are actually looking at wave A, wave B, and wave C. Uh, as you guys are aware of it, I on the four hourly chart, let me show you guys quickly. I'm considering this as a wave one right over here on the top. And from this top, we are considering this as an A, B, and C pattern. And we believe that wave two has already ended right over here. I'm kind of considering it as a complex correction. We can see the horizontal support is coming in action as well. And we can see that the diagonal support on a small time frame is broken. I'll uh, zoom in to show you guys. So I'm right now expecting the prices will go up uh, further up. And then uh, let's have a look on the once again on an hourly time frame. So we have drawn the support from the top on a small time frame and this one, this is a small time frame wave and we have drawn the support that was covering this uh, uh, drop and now we can see the price went off and then uh, kind of uh, supported that, found support on this uh, resistance as well. So which is good sign. Uh, once again, couple of things, prices can further drop below to 2220 and then on upward or it can actually go just drop a little bit and then go upward so both things are possible it's, this is the analysis you, you how you want to trade is i leave it up to you and i'm looking at it as an eruptive price movement mm, we'll see some eruptive price move behavior in gold and silver so right now this is silver 
if you're trading long term I wanted to give an indication if you're trading long term and I think this is a point to long term reason because we have stayed in the sideways price actions clearly more clearly in silver silver as compared to in gold we have seen an impulsive correction and a sideways price behavior now all the support is coming back the slightly uh, the uh, diagonal support is broken all things are coming really positive I believe that we are ready from very explosive action in silver there's a quite possibility that in the next couple of months two three four months we'll see prices all the way jump from 20 to 60 20 to 50 to all the way around 40 dollar an ounce so think big all right prepare yourself to trade small and aim for a lot much larger swing this is where you're going to make your money losses will be very low if you if you decide to put a lot of money in, in here and things go in the other direction uh, you'll get scared very quickly and you'll jump out of the market very quickly a tradition behavior that actually happened right over here i got a feeling straight away i'm i'm telling you guys I'm aware of it when British Pound was trading right over here and I was thinking there's a possibility that British Pound probably will go further down. It did not actually as far as the correction is concerned it found a support. Uh, this is one of the price behavior where I gave an indication I think with the uh, with gold. We were thinking there is a possibility that uh, where is gold? We were thinking on a smaller time frame there was a possibility that gold this one price movement right one over here would carry all the way right over here and maybe create a double bottom with this one. Uh, I d just gave that and then pulled out of straight away within after a day because price action was different. And I keep on uh, I keep on giving uh, on Elliott wave analysis. The Elliott wave analysis is more kind of wave analysis instead of Elliott wave analysis. So the wave analysis does help us to see which way is the main trend and which way is the corrective trend. So once the time is come to the corrective trend, uh, particularly in my own analysis uh, so this is the one thing that I'm lacking in my own analysis I cannot tell how deep the wave would be and then I try to look at compare it to uh, some immediate support coming in action and that's how I decide that okay yeah maybe the, the correction it looks like is complete so I do understand I think you might some of you guys might have I think some of you guys had a trade on British pound and it looks to me that uh, some of you guys had went into in a, a different direction. That's part of the analysis. So right now, British Pound, as I said, is presenting a good trading analysis and spreading good trading opportunity as well. Uh, before we go on further and discuss gold, I want to give a caution that uh, stay away from euro and Canadian dollar, as I'm intentionally not discussing them both of them. I need to uh, I need to throw a little more detail on them. And for British Pound 2, this is a short term trade. As soon as this is end up, I'll come up with a different trading setup. Things are not moving on a large time frame uh, as we thought. So therefore, we are going to uh, look in three to five days, seven days uh, movement at a time. Because uh, there are a couple of things in historic data that are confusing me. I'm not really exactly concerned where to put those labels. So that's why I'm leaving it a little open. And I've decided to go a little more short term on British Pound. Uh, silver and gold are a little more clear so I have uh, no caution on that that word they have more confidence on a larger time frame analysis as well uh, we'll look at it uh, though uh, on a small time frame analysis as well because if there is strings are definitely looking a little different on a smaller time frame as compared to lo longer time frame then we should carry gold and silver as well as we carrying British pound so for now there is no call on uh, euro and uh, Canadian dollar I'm gonna spend the next couple of days looking at them for the details and we'll see what happens uh, once again have a look uh, with the, let some let me come back once again on uh, so uh, with the what's his name is with silver one thing is more probable that we are looking this way we are probably creating uh, looking for the creating the double top with this one this is more short term and it's a confirms with a higher confidence than what i'm saying that we probably see 40 dollar an ounce so if you are being a little uh, skeptic about my analysis uh, four times for smaller time frame i think we have a better uh, trading setup you can see support coming in this one action as well so I think the target should be the smaller time frame gives a better higher confidence trading setup for silver. Same is the case with jo with gold. Uh, let's have a look. We have seen right now I'm considering it as a impulsive wave right over here. And I'm considering this as a corrective wave. Either the corrective wave completed right over here. And then we have a smaller impulse and correction. Or we can consider say that this is wave A and this is wave B. And then we are going to see a little more further down price action than before going upward. In both cases, in both cases, once again, we are looking for the price of, of gold to go higher. And our immediate 
uh, target for is 1816. If you can cro cross 1816 easily, then the next target definitely is around 1825 area, 1830 area. So that's how I'm looking at for the small time frame analysis. We'll have to wait for a longer term what happens after that. Because just in case our longer term frame anal analysis is wrong, then we can consider this as W, X, and Y. Both cases are giving us an indication that uh, the the larger trend, the smaller time frame trend is still up direction. Whether it's part of the impulsive wave that started from right over here, uh, 1, 2, and 1, and 2, or we can consider it as W, X, and Y, and we can consider this whole price movement as an impulsive. Once again, it's too much ifs and buts. Uh, right now, as, as you guys are looking at it, prices are more uh, heading towards impulsive behavior. I'm considering this as definitely our first time target around 1816 and the next target is 1834. Uh, if you were following me on YouTube, I opened one of the, my trades. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys. So this is the trade that I followed in. I did a big uh, make a boo-boo and this right one over here. I entered when the prices were falling back right over here. I entered the trade right over here once again. 10 ounces that did not go as I like and I had to close that trend so about I lost a hundred dollar but when the trend was all the way up right over here I had about eight seven eight hundred dollar profit on the trade reason I was a little too greedy uh, I want to say greedy because my analysis is giving us an in indication that prices are supposed to go all the way over right over here so if I am if I have that information in mind I would not like to take profits right over here this is one of those things. I'm looking, my put stop loss is right over here. My target is right over here. I won't say 1834. Probably if as soon as prices reach around 1820 or 1825, I do not want to see this happen. Once again, reason is because if you look at this top and if you compare it with this top, it's at a distance. It has not exactly creating the exactly double top, but it still created a double top with it. Not with our definition, but it is actually a double, double top with this one. So I do not want to be exactly happening same thing right over here. I would be a little more careful. Uh, somewhere around 1820. I'll wait for the price to go further up and 1820 I will be closing up. That will be my uh, trade closed. This is about right now, initially I had put a $1,000 on it. Right now about $900 on risk, which is running with a $40 profit right now. This can easily turn into negative if prices fall back right over here, but I will still hold on to trade that trade. Uh, till actually I see the prices we're right, right over here so if some of you guys wanted to do a uh, check on my uh, that trade it did initially really good well I mean it made me seven eight hundred dollar initially uh, seven eight hundred dollar yeah mm, but it did not hold that long uh, hopefully it'll come back on Monday that's what the analysis is at least saying wish you good luck with your trading uh, have a good one and bye bye